Question number 36. A coil is connected to a cell that is switch and a switch that is initially open. Okay. Coil Y is parallel parallel to X. Okay. Y is parallel to X. X and Y have a common axis. It means concentric coils. When the switch is closed, a force F acts on Y due to X. Okay. So why does it act? Because it's a current which passes like this. This is a coil over here. The current passes like this. So what is happening? What is happening over here? The current passes like this, right? So which means, okay, it passes like this over here, right? And then when the switch is closed, a force F acts on Y due to X. What is the variation with time of F? What is the variation with time of F and the direction of F? So initially, when this has been closed, so the current goes like this. Magnetic field is in this direction, right? So this becomes your North Pole. This becomes your North Pole. And this becomes your South Pole. This becomes your South Pole. When this becomes your South Pole, now there is a coil already here. Now what happens? This also becomes a South Pole. Because initially, it, it uh, rejects this, uh, this force over here. Rejects the field over here. It becomes a South Pole. As a result of it, there is a repulsion being seen. Right? There is a repulsion. So which means there is a force acting on Y in this direction. Repulsion means it should be away from here, right? It should not attract it. Okay, so because south and south here, so it should repel over here. So when you say it is repelling, what does it say? It is away from x, right? It's away from x. So therefore, towards x is incorrect. Towards x is incorrect. Away from x is right, right? And then what is it? What is the next one? Variation of time of f. So does it keep on constantly moving away? No. Okay, it acts only for a short interval of time. And after that, it starts decreasing and becomes zero when the current in the coil becomes steady over here. Okay. Now let us read the question over here. Variation in time of f. How does the time of how does he force vary with time? Initially in increase. No, this is wrong, right, wrong anyway. Increases initially reaching a constant value. No, it does not reach a constant value. So it initially initially increases uh, and then decreases. D is the right answer. 